Some of our friends have asked me several questions and I try to answer them. Number one question. There are a fair number of uh, Persians in the Pacific Northwest. Ma many seem to be agnostic, not sure if it is due to a swinging away from Islam and a, and a God altogether. Any extra thought about reaching them? Uh, I want to share this truth with you. Of course, Iranians are hurt by Islam and in general, they're walking away from Islam. And that's why we see such a great number of Iranian Muslims come to Christ. But when they leave Iran, after so many years of hardship, they come to America and they settle down. This is their general attitude. The general attitude is, I'm done with God. The God has hurt us. And if Islam, the best religion, hurt us that way, forget about Christianity. That's a outdated. Same as Islam, but outdated. So I Iranians living in America or in the West, they are generally harder to reach. I know it because I planted churches in California. It wasn't easy. Iran, ministering inside Iran, easy. Evangelism inside Iran, easy. The simplest message I give, many are coming to Christ. But reaching out to Iranians to, uh, in America or uh, Canada, not easy. Now, let me give you a couple things. The best approach which I use is not talk about religion. Actually, I try to shock them. I say, uh, we talk about God, oh, there is no God, I, uh, or God is not important. I say, totally, I agree with you. Religion is not good. Did you know God hates religion? And I hate religion. I don't want to be a religious person. And they're shocked. I thought you were a Christian. Yes, I am. But God hates religion. Really? Yeah, because religion hurts people. So I'm touching their pain. Religious people hurt people. And bad people use religion to enslave people. And God hates that. And I hate that. So I start from their hatred. I use that to bring the truth of the gospel. Number two, uh, some become comfortable uh, in the West and God is not important to them. So, oh, okay, God or not God. I'm, I'm relatively, I'm, I have a good uh, life now. Why should I go back to that? Uh, for them, I do not argue God. Well, for the most part, I approach their emotional, spiritual need. So, yeah, science, success, you're happy, you have a good job, you're comfortable life. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about joy. Let's talk about peace. Where does that come from? Oh, do you have it? Where do you get it from? Do you have a joyful life? Uh, wh how do you describe love? Isn't you, we are, aren't we created for love? Don't you think there is something in us that we are looking for love and we are not satisfied? So I talk about love, peace, and joy. And that's how I bring the gospel that we human beings may have a comfortable life. Yes, you have. But there is a need in our hearts that's still there. In Iran, it was there. In America, it's still there. Let's talk about that.